Hello everyone, my name is Madison LaFerrier and I'm a Penn graduate of the MBA program with a multidisciplinary concentration at Post University. In this video, I will be reflecting on my time in the program and will go over thoughtful insights on my learning experiences, including growth, challenges, and recommendations. Additionally, I will be reflecting on essential learnings from classes taken in the MBA core as well as in the multidisciplinary concentration that will make a difference in my personal life and my career. I first want to start by looking on my experience in the program. I was a recent college graduate in May 2020 and did not know what I wanted to do after graduation. I was deciding on continuing to pursue my education with an MBA degree or applying to jobs to start my career. I ultimately decided to apply for a position working in the admissions department at Post University and found out that I could receive an employee discount to study a degree program of my choosing. So ultimately, I chose both. I decided to get my master's in business administration because my undergraduate degree is in marketing and communications, and I figured having the MBA would set me apart from other individuals in the business industry, as well as take my career to the next level. Having a master's degree will allow me to allow, apply for higher paying jobs, and with an MBA degree, I can really work in any, in any industry rather than in just one. You know, as a 23-year-old, I still do not know what I would like to be when I hence grow up, um, but having this degree will allow me to have a variety of options to choose from. And originally, my concentration was in finance, but as I thought, it stood out to me more so than the others. I also thought that having a finance background would work well with my undergraduate degree in marketing, and I just wanted to know more about the financial aspect of the business industry. You know, at this time, I was also thinking about working as a financial consultant or even sitting for the CPA exam. However, a few terms ago, around the summertime, I noticed that the, class, the last class that I needed to fulfill the finance concentration was not being offered for that selected term. So upon recommendation from my advisor, she recommended I pursue my concentration in multidisciplinary to fulfill the requirements needed and to graduate on time. She found that a class normally taken in the leadership concentration would be offered and registered to me. This class was amazing. I loved my professor. He was great. And the class was very interesting as during this time, I was also promoted to a supervisor position in the admissions department. Um, so it was a great way to kind of come on to a new team and that leadership role. And I was instantly grateful for the little switch up. And, you know, despite having a degree in business, my knowledge on the courses taken have tremendously grown within the last year. Whether I plan to open my own business or move up the corporate ladder at Post University or at another company, I will, I will be using these concepts in my everyday life. You know, with these classes, I learned how to identify a, pro a problem in an organization and to solve it from a leadership perspective. I also learned how to plan a project from start to finish and what goes into it, including budgets, scheduling, and responsibilities. I also learned from a financial point of view how to analyze a business's financial statements and how to determine if they were performing well or needed improvement in their everyday operation. I did struggle a little bit during this past year. Um, some of the things that I struggled with were working in teams in a remote setting. Some of my classes were all online and it was hard to collaborate with others that have different work ethic and schedules than my own. I can see myself as an overachiever, so I learned that a lot of individuals do not work the same way. Um, so some terms I did struggle with managing work and school at the same time. Um, I also did struggle with some of the finance courses and the business a little analytics for managers course, um, which is kind of surprising because I normally am very good with numbers, but these classes were again all online and it was kind of difficult to understand certain formulas and just how to I analyze the data presented. Um, some of the other things that I struggled with were being specific in projects and tying things all together. Um, you know, with these these challenges, I did continue to reach out to my professors and my classmates just for further clarification. You know, sometimes working together and talking through it did help me figure out, you know, what needed to be done. Um, and finally, another thing I did struggle with is the capstone simulation that was found in the capstone. 
Um, for whatever reason, I did not know how to analyze the previous rounds in order to make decisions for the upcoming rounds. So I really did struggle with each round. Um, I also didn't really have that much help from my team member. There was only two of us and it was hard for her to attend classes. So we did a, a lot of things on the side. Now, looking back at the coursework, I now understand how to be, you know, concise, you know, while meeting the requirements and explaining in detail my explanations. I also understand what exactly to look for in a financial statement and how these numbers can impact a company. I also am a lot more comfortable using Excel and have been using formulas in my current job now today. Um, overall, there are two courses that really stood out to me. The first comes from a class in the Common Core, Business 525, Business Strategy and Planning, and the second comes from the Concentration class in the Leadership, Business 669, Innovating Leadership and Management. These two classes were designed very similarly to the capstone in which we had to identify a problem in a company and design a detailed business strategy on how to solve it. You know, some skills that were used in the capstone were developing a SWOT analysis, identifying strategic goals and smart object objectives, and proposing a plan to solve the problem. This is a skill I will be able to take into any job or career I may have, as it will allow me to evaluate any problems happening and to recommend ways that will solve the problem that sets the company apart from others. In Business 525, I learned how to evaluate a company internally and externally. You know, some companies seem really successful from an outsider, but struggle with employee satisfaction and a high turnover rate. So this class really allowed me to take a look at different points of view so that companies could be successful inside and out. In Business 669, I learned the different types of innovation and the different types of leadership styles. I now know that the participatory leadership style is very effective as it allows to all those involved to have a say in a project or operation. This is a style that I use today as it allows my employees to share their opinions on what is working and what needs to be improved. And it could, this style could really be used in any industry or any project that I'm working with, whether I be, you know, working with my boss, a colleague, employee, or even a client. Now, some recommend, recommendations I would make would be to reword the rubrics for the assignments a little bit. Several of them were very hard to understand and needed further clarification. And another recommendation would be to pair project-based assignments with individuals that have the same learning styles or would be able to work with one another. You know, I did find that I would be the one doing the most work and couldn't really rely on others to do their part even after communicating expect expectations. You know, but on the other hand, it did help me improve my communication and collaboration skills from working with others from different backgrounds and industries. Overall, I am happy with the outcome and the experiences during the MBA program at Post University, and I'm proud to be a Post University graduate and look forward to what chapters my degree will have in store for me. Um, so thank you for your time and for listening to my feedback. Have a great rest of your day.